Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be making something a bit different. We're going to be doing a diamond ring. So let's get cracking on. First of all, we're going to create a torus. Okay, let's just change the inner, set the minor radius just going to make it a little bit thinner like that that will do nicely okay and then we're going to the edit mode and then let's hit that a oh. right so we need to select a few faces on the top here do, 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 like that and then let's just go back into there and then we'll get proportional editing on We'll just adjust that and bring that up slightly, like so. Okay, um, so that'll do for that. Let's just W and smooth shade. Oh no, tell you what we need to do is inside here, I think we need to hit number one and select those. So these ones here we need to scale on out I'll switch off proportional editing scale on out to there hit the next section to there next section to there and that gives a bit of a flat on the inside there for our fingers to go through okay so i'm happy with that um next let's make the diamond so to make the diamond we are going to be adding if we go to add-ons um so you need to go to edit preferences and then add-ons and then we need to get the add mesh and the extras extra objects that's what we need. Okay, and then it's going to save. And then if you go Shift A, we should have in the mesh section diamonds. And then we want to go with a diamond. We're just to go with a diamond. Oh, no, we won't. We'll go with a brilliant diamond. Um, Let's have a brilliant diamond. Diamonds. There we go. That looks better. Um, I'm just. You've got a lot of sections here um, that you can fill in. You can see adjust the whole shape of the diamond. The griddle height. I can't remember which one it is that I need. Um, pavilion. Oh, that's it. So I'm just going to raise that up a little bit. Um, okay, what we do need to do is scale scale that right down um, and then rotate. So we just need to rotate on the X 90, oh, uh, minus 90, there we go. And then let's just push that up to the top there like so so what we need to do now is create the class bit that the diamond fits in um, so with that we are going to create a cylinder and uh, sorry not cylinder a UV sphere um, let's just go into that one and let's go to that let's go into edit mode let's select vertices deselect control b for the box select and then delete vertices and then all these here we need to um e and scale in 
So this is going to be the, the hand, the clasp that's going to hold the diamond in place. Let's just bring that down Oops. like that. And then let's rotate, um, rotate X 90, rotate X 90 minus, and then let's just bring that up, scale it on down. And then bring it on in there. Scale that right down. And right down again. There we go. That looks tickety boo to me. Let's just see if that lines up. Um, so I just need to bring that up. That's all in line. Let's just bring it down a little bit. Uh, let's bring the diamond down. Okay, we can make that a little bit smaller because we're going to make the class. Let's just bring that over. Okay, let's just move this out of the way. Now we need to go back into on here, on here into edit, and then we need to select faces one two three four five six seven eight and then we need to extrude on the y extrude on the y and then um scale up turn the proportion off scale out Let's see how the diamond fits in there. Let's bring that on over. Okay. And then what we can do is in here, I can put, go back into edit, control R, loop cut. Just bring it up there. And the same. Here, Control R, loop cut, Control R, loop cut, and then Control R, loop cut. Okay, and then we can just Bring those. So we need to select one, two, three, four, six, and just bring it on over so it clamps the diamond in place. Same here. Um, same here. Bring that on over. And this one as well. So that's the diamond clamped in the place. Um, we need to W shade smooth. In fact, we could add um, just subdiv, subdiv. And these we need to get a little bit of material um, we need to make it metallic and you can have whatever color you want if you want a rose gold something like that and then we need to put that over there um, we need to change the roughness um, yeah for the um, so for the background, we've had a an environment, an environment texture, um, and then if you just open 
go into I'll put a link to where we where you can get these from um, but I think it's called HDRI Haven I uh, just need to find where I put these because I'm going to change it to an internal uh, lighting document um, dit, dit, dit. I'm just going to grab a that one okay so it's all good and then we just put these down a little bit okay so there's our environment lighting rose gold um, this we need to change to a glass um, the IOR for glass, I think it was uh, for diamond 2.418. So we need to change that to 2.418. Uh, the uh, roughness, just change that down. Just get rid of the roughness. And there's your nice little diamond ring. Let's just chuck a plane on there. Um, a plane, let's just bring it on over, scale it on up, like so, let's just move these, rotate, um, about there I think, maybe up a little bit. Yeah, that looks okay. Um, we're just going to change the to cycle the GPU, and there we go. One awesome diamond ring. Obviously, if you want to make it into a emerald, you can change the color. You can make it into a ruby. Oh, I don't know what blue is, but we're just going to keep ours white there. So there we go. There's a quick, quick way to create a diamond ring. Um, so if you like that, don't forget to um, give us a thumbs up on the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell. Um, I hope you got a lot out of this video. Um, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video. Ta-da for now.